Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at home right now. I haven't done this in a while, but we have some breaking news that we want to talk to you guys about. Um, before I get into that, um, I know right now all this uh, COVID-19 stuff is going on. Lots of folks out there are very anxious and worried about everything. Um, and, and in a lot of states, there are police officers that are getting sick. And for the most part, if things go south here, folks are going to have to uh, be able to defend themselves. So this is something we're all aware of, uh, being advocates of the Second Amendment, people who believe in the Second Amendment, gun guys, etc. This breaking news uh, came to me from Amoland News, and I actually have my friend John Crump on the phone. John? Hey, how you doing, Hank? Good, man. Thanks for, uh, you know, joining me here on like a late Saturday evening. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, so I'm just going to read the headline here, and then John and I will talk about it. So the headline, this is on Amoland News right now. You guys should be following them religiously, okay? And I think this article was written, it says here, uh, Dave Workman. I'm sure you know Dave, right? Yep, I do. Right, and so the headline is, DHS says firearms retailers, manufacturers are, quote, essential businesses, and this is breaking news, and there's an editor's note there that says, readers, please share this article with your state and local federal, federal representatives, police departments, and sheriffs, as well as local firearms retailers, to make them aware of the new guidance so that we can get our local businesses back to work and fellow um, Americans the products they need to remain safe. Okay, so... Um, it's got the official U.S. Department of Homeland Security uh, stamp on it. It says uh, essential businesses, DHS says firearms retailers, manufacturers, essential businesses. Under the Trump administration's guidance, the Department of Homeland Security has declared firearms manufacturers and retailers essential businesses, possibly driving a spike through the heart of various state and local emergency powers, declarations that had classified gun stores to be non-essential during the current coronavirus panic and had ordered them closed. The reference to gun shops is found in a document released Saturday titled Guidance on the Essential Critical Infrastructure Workforce in the um, section dealing with law enforcement, public safety, and other first responders. Um, the document released by DHS simply states that workers supporting the operation of firearm or ammunition product manufacturers, retailers, importers, distributors, and shooting ranges are considered essential. And it goes on here. We could definitely get into it. Uh, when did you find out about this, John? Um, I kind of knew it was coming for a little while. I just couldn't really... Mm -hmm say anything right because yeah. anything can happen before it's actually released yeah um, yeah yeah we talk so. about things like this all the time right and there's often things that we're like oh this might happen doesn't necessarily happen this one's happening and i think it's it's happening at a really good time because around the country there are places that are telling manufacturers and even stores that they have to close right uh that is correct but uh this is just an advisory. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing that's getting lost in translation. Mm -hmm. A lot of states uh, basically count on the DHS to for guidance mm -hmm. of what's essential and what's not essential. Okay. It doesn't exactly mean that the states have have to abide by this. Okay. North Carolina, for example, is mm -hmm. one state that does, mm -hmm. but uh, it doesn't mean that they can't change it. Right. So there's some there in some states we've had, um, I think, Second Amendment Foundation, some other organizations out there. You, you re, um, represent GOA. I'm not sure if they were in on some of the lawsuits, but people have been pushing back against the states trying to say that the gun stores have to close and the manufacturers as well are non-essential. Right. Yeah, we've been on most of the lawsuits uh, mm -hmm. and leading a lot of them. Okay. So when they say, so when you say this is just like an advisement, it means that there's still states out there that can refuse to look at this and just still move forward and say that these manufacturers or these stores have to close. That is correct. Okay. 
Yeah, um, I, I hope that they don't do that. Um, because, you know, I, I was reading in the news that, so for example, in New York City, there's uh, a big percentage of the police department that's testing positive, right? And that's happening in other hotspots uh, around the country. And so therefore, the, that's, you know, uh, uh, guys that, you know, police officers that they can't have go out there and protect people when in reality we know that even when things go wrong, it's going to take some time before the cops get to you anyway, right? So we're always, well, we're always the first line of defense. Well, absolutely. And some states and jurisdictions aren't uh, dispatching police for things like mm -hmm. Grand, uh, like like Grand Theft Auto and uh, yeah. burglary and breaking and entering and yeah. assault. So right now they're considering those minor crimes. The, the, so the weird thing about all this stuff that's happening, I mean, I think that obviously there's something happening the whole world over and people are getting sick. And I think we're at the point now when everyone kind of knows someone who is testing positive for COVID-19, right? Um, it's just it's just one of these things that hap that's happening or they themselves might be testing positive. Hopefully they get treatment and they get better. Um, so... Yeah, New York, New York, New York, for example. Mm -hmm. I think the average this morning was uh, one person dies every seventeen minutes mm -hmm. from uh, COVID nineteen. Yeah. So the and the thing happening with this is this is definitely a thing out there. But for everyday life that people have to live, and a lot of them um, maybe have lost their job, maybe they're furloughed home, and they don't know what's going to happen with their job coming up here in the next few weeks to months to when all of this gets sorted out. If you're home and these things that the police officers consider minor crimes are happening and they're not even responding, you know, I don't want to panic anyone out there, but it's almost it's, it's pretty close to kind of like a, you know, a purge. A, a purge yeah, a purge type situation for, for criminals, not for the law abiding folks like us. Right. We're home. We're hoping that everything's OK and, and everyone's OK with our families. But there might be some bad guys out there that think, hey, this is a great opportunity for me to get whatever I want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, I think that it's a good thing that they're doing this. It's um, it, I, what we're going to see here is probably there's going to be states that don't care about this and are just going to go ahead and say, no, we don't need these things. But we do need them. We do need uh, people to be able to defend themselves. And us as gun guys, I think most gun guys out there that died in the world ones probably have, um, you know, enough ammo and they have guns and things like that. But correct me if I'm wrong here. It seems like 95% uh, of Americans or more right now are gun people, right? So that, that number was a little lower of people who would consider themselves that. But in the last few weeks, gun sales and all those kinds of things have spiked way up. And even folks out there who were maybe on the other side of the of this issue are now out there trying to purchase firearms, right? Yeah, I think it pushed everyone on the fence mm -hmm. to the pro-gun side. Mm -hmm. In fact, I read a statistic. I can't really back up where it came from, but mm -hmm. it said 75% of gun sales uh, since the beginning of March have been for first-time buyers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big number. I know that that's slowed down NYX checks. In some places, they've stopped that altogether, as we've said already here. They've closed some stores. And then we have manufacturers out there, um, you know, helping in lots of different ways. I don't want to make folks out there think that the manufacturers are only um, making guns and ammo. There's other manufacturers out there lending their resources to, to um, help combat the COVID-19 itself, right? Yeah, there is. The, everyone seems to have been pitching in mm -hmm. and doing um, their duty as an American yeah. to help fight against this. Yeah, I think it's, it's a weird thing that we even have to come out here and say this. Um, also, you, you, you tell me here, in history, is this the first time that an administration, like with the Trump administration, has said, OK, we're going to like make a statement on this and give some kind of guidance? Or something like this happened in the past. I mean, I know uh, an issue like this that's taken over the whole country and the whole world has has never happened, or hasn't yeah, happened I mean, anytime recently. I mean, I 
don't think that uh, gun manufacturers and dealers mm-hmm. have been on that list until now, but I mean, mm-hmm. it's never really been anything mm-hmm. like this. Okay. All right. So, um, do you guys at Ammo Land? Do you guys have uh, follow up stories to this that folks can look out for? Um, oh, absolutely. I have one that's going to be coming up um, about New Jersey on this. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, and I have several actually. Oh okay. I think Lola wants to t- uh, tell me something here. Lola, what's up? I was just curious. In, in John's opinion, are there any states? currently that he feels would go against this um, advisory. Yeah, so what are the states out there that we should be looking for and then maybe we can get the folks out there to forward this or contact the, uh, the leaders of the state and let them know like, hey, this is coming you know, from the administration and Homeland Security. Uh, New Jersey and California are the two big ones. Okay. Maybe, I, maybe mm-hmm. Washington State as well. Okay. Yeah, I know there were some stories, definitely L.A. itself in in California, there's been stuff going back and forward. There was some stuff in Delaware, and I think that the governor of Delaware backed off after uh, he got some legal challenges. Um, And then obviously those those things are uh, going on in different states and then different parts of states. Right. So in like the southern part of Florida, there may be some issues, um, even though Florida is a pretty... um, you know, strong gun state, right? Yeah. The, yeah. There is certain local jurisdictions that are taking the steps to spread it down. Okay. So the folks out there that are in those places that are that are worried about this, they can use this, forward this to those leaders, speak to them. Um, I'm sure, though, that we still need folks like the GOA um, out there and other organizations as well to keep pushing back on what's happening here, right? Right. Okay. So for the for the people listening to this or watching this, what advice can you give them? Like, what can they do? Other like you know, okay, you've got your supplies, you've got your stuff, your home, you're you're taking care of your you and your family's security. What do they do now um, to push back against these infringement? Contact their legislatures, contact their governor's offices, contact the, the the state AG's offices. I know this is breaking news. You reached out to me about it, um, and I wanted to be able to get this out there for folks um, that were probably wondering what's going on with this. Uh, I think it's a good thing that we've that we've got the administration and Homeland Security uh, stepping up here, right? Uh, I think it's definitely a good time. All right. Okay. So any um, final advice for the folks out there, man, before we get out of here? Just stay involved. And we really can't do much during Mm -hmm. the pandemic, but we Mm -hmm. can stay involved at least online. Yeah. And by making phone calls, emails. Yeah, absolutely. I I would say try to keep up, uh, you know, try to keep up your spirits. Um, Take this as an opportunity, I think, to hang out with the family. Right. We're trying to do that here. Yeah, we're trying to do that here, hang out with our boys and, um, you know, talk to them, see, you know, catch up. Because I think in our busy lives, one positive maybe out of this, it's gotten a lot of people to slow slow down a little bit. Um, But hopefully we'll be getting back to what we need to do and all of this stuff gets worked out and we've got things in place to help people to get sick. Um, But definitely this to me is good news that that the federal government is stepping up and and enforcing what we all already know, that we all have the rights to defend ourselves. And as a matter of fact, we are the ones responsible for that. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. I can say better myself. Awesome. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Um, I want to tell everyone out there to uh, you can help us out and Ammo Land News. Share this news. You can go to Ammo Land and keep up with their articles and you can share their, their articles when they post them. Same thing with this here. John, if folks want to uh, maybe bring something to your attention, how do they do that? Uh, they can do that on Facebook at Real John Crump. OK, there you go. Awesome. Thanks so much, John. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Um, Please share this video, smash the thumbs ups, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we go live. I hope everyone stays well out there. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.